So I'm Eric Gustafson. I'm the Director of Sales uh, with Tom's Tumblr and TTT Innovations. We are here at the NoCo Hemp Expo. Um, and we've got the TTT 3000 here that we're going to be uh, doing a demonstration with uh, to show how well bladeless technology can work uh, to trim your product. So here we've got a bag full of product. It's a lot. Ugh. And one of the most important things uh, that we talk about is that for this product, it's dry. So it, the, butt, the, the, the sugar leaves are just snapping right off. Now, if you have wet product, we do have a CO2 adapter um, where you can flash freeze the sugar leaves to simulate it being dry. Uh, but we typically recommend dry product just because you end up with a better uh, smell and, and, and uh, product that you can sell. So um, in here, we've got a lot of product. And what you want to do when you're loading up the TTT 3000 is that you load it to about three inches below the axle. So we're going to open it up here. And the Velcro comes off like that. So this is where you can enter in the product. <laughs> All right. So Kat is going to be helping us load it in here. So load it up to about three inches below that axle. So now I'm going to put on, uh, I don't have my phone. Can somebody put on a timer for five minutes? Kat, can you put it on? So that's all that you want to tumble it for is really three to four minutes. Five minutes is the max. And that's just because you don't want to over tumble it. So that's all the amount of time that it really needs. So the bag said 32 pounds, but I don't think that was right because it's typically about 10 to 15 that you'd put into this one right here per batch. You ready? All right. So we're going to turn it on. Nice yes. <laughs> Kat, where are we on time? Okay, so it's only been about a minute and 15 seconds right now. As you can see, some of the smalls are going down into that thing. So that's why we've got these different size nets. So right now, what we've got is the half inch on there. So that's gonna allow more of the trim to fall through, but then we can put on the quarter inch net in order to put that trim back through and then sort out the popcorn ones that are going in. So then that way you're still being able to preserve those smalls. And then the final step of what you could do is use this 151 micron uh, keef screen. Yeah, exactly. So then that way you can take that final trim, put it in there. We recommend typically dry ice pellets um, and just enough so that it covers the full surface of the keef screen. So I'll stop it again. So it's now been in for three minutes. And so again, this is what it looks like. So this is actually looks pretty good to me because all the sugar leaves for the most part are, are off. There's the crow's feet and obviously the stem is on it too. So if you take off the stem before you put it in, it won't have the stem on it, you know, obviously right now. So that's kind of um, what it is. We'll take out. So here's the trim and the smalls. So again, what you can do is we can put on that half or the, the quarter inch screen to further sort it. So then here you've got the trim product. So again, the stems are on it just because that's what they put it in. So okay. if you take the stems off, but the actual trim itself. I mean, again, it's just the, it's eight to ten percent is what we would recommend, uh, but the, the, so that the sugar leaves are brittle enough so that they would just snap right off. Right. That's yeah. the most important part. So, have you guys thought of a conveyor system for underneath? We just came out with that, so we didn't bring it to the trade show. But we're over here, we were talking about. <laughs> 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 
Yes, yep, so we've got an incline takeaway conveyor, so then that way, yeah, they, if that's what they want.